Well, some of you saw that I picked up some fish over at Mark's, Mark's Tropical Fish in that last video. I'll put a link up here in the corner. And uh, some of you probably wondering what I picked up. Some of you got a clue from when I looked into that, uh, looked into one of his tanks. But at any rate, let's take a look at what I actually picked up. And they're all doing great. I'm happy to report. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, if you're new and you like to always be learning about how to take better care of our fish, why don't you go ahead and uh, click, click on that bell and on that sub button and uh, notifications button, and that way you'll always be informed when I upload new content, all right? Okay, let's get into it. Let's take a look at my new additions. I'm pretty excited at how they're looking. Don't you love it when uh, you bring home fish and uh, they start looking really good in the quarantine tank? These three fish that I picked up are gonna be staying in this QT for at least a month before I'll add them to the, uh, to the show tank. But as you can see, I picked up an, an OB and a beautiful dragon blood and what appears to be a Xerox with a beautiful yellow blaze that runs from the upper lip all the way to the tail. Really looking forward to watching that fish get a bit bigger. Sorry about the heater laying there. Um, it never seems to stick. I allow algae to grow on the side walls and so it makes it hard for the suction cups to work. So I just let it lay there. Seems to work anyway. But as you can see, within a few days after getting settled in, I mean, they were hiding in the corner at first, like most new fish. But after a couple days, they settled in and they started taking both pellets and flake food. When I bring home new fish, I'll, I'll usually try a variety of foods until I see one that they tend to take to, and then I'll wean them over to, uh, to pellets, which is what I normally feed the fish. As you can see, they're a little skittish. The QT tank is behind the cabinet doors, so they're not used to a lot of activity. I try and keep them calm and in a sort of quiet environment uh, as they start to get more and more acclimated. In the next uh, few coming weeks, I'll leave those cabinet doors open so they start getting used to the motion that occurs in the living room, which is where they will be, uh, where, they'll, where they'll be living. And there is traffic that goes back and forth in there. So as you can see, beautiful OB. Looks like you've got some dragon blood in them. The markings on that dragon blood are beautiful. And uh, I have a, an, a very, very old Xerox in the 150 gallon. And uh, so I'm not sure how much longer he's gonna be able to go. So I thought it'd be time to get a younger one. And I've always wanted one that had that beautiful, prominent blaze. And so when I saw him at Mark's, I really couldn't pass, pass, pass up such a beautiful fish. Look at that blaze. So those are the new babies. What do you think? Share your thoughts below. I'd like to hear. And uh, maybe I'm a little bit crazy buying some fish uh, within uh, maybe four months of when I'm gonna be moving, but you know what? They're beautiful and I uh, couldn't help myself. And I also love supporting those local fish stores, you know, any way I can. So uh, there you go. Let me know in the thought in the uh, comments below what you think. I appreciate you tuning in and I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's it for me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.